Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you my YouTube and Make Gill farm that I alluded to in my last video. This is a type of farm you do in the background while watching a movie or focus on something else. The farm is making rarefied Sycon Bavoria on my culinary and to turn in for purple scripts. I'm planning on making 100 of them today. The best part of this farm is you can do everything without needing any time gated rare items. You can farm everything yourself. All you need is a max level culinary and at least a mid 80s botanist. The first item I'll show you where to get is a Vibos Milk in Garlean. They cost two rainbows each. You get the rainbows from doing Inwalker or Shadowbringer Fates. You're rewarded 14 for completing an Inwalker Fate. So I needed to complete 15 Fates in order to buy my 100 of Vibos Milk. I now need to farm up the 100 Psychons I'll need. You can grab them in Elpis right outside Zephyros. Another good thing about this farm is you don't need any in-game gear. I'm farming all the mats with the level 80 white script gear I received from doing Ocean Vision. Next, I want to head to Thanarian where I need to complete the longest part of this farm. I'll need 600 palm servers in order to make the 300 palm sugars. This is where cordial potions come in handy. That and using Pioneer's Gift 2 to try and proc an extra syrup helps speed up the process more than you could think. At the time of recording this, the prices of these mats were fairly low, so if you don't want to grind all the mats, you could possibly buy some of them and save yourself some time, though this will cut into your overall profits. I will also need 1600 fire crystals, so I'll need to farm those up. Make sure to use the 12's bounty every time you have mana to increase crystals yield by 3. Now that I'm done farming, I need to head to the Crystarium to buy the 100 gelatin from Veral for 10 gil each. I now have all the mats to start my farm. There's just one more tiny thing I need to do before I can start. I need to replace my blue 320 gear with the crafted high quality green 320 gear. This is because I may need to paramail my materia onto my gear in order to craft the rare fights. The blue gear unfortunately cannot be paramailed so I need to buy a complete new crafting set. Yay. In order to save as much gill as possible, I'll be server hopping to buy the cheapest priced item for each beast. In order to find the cheapest price, I'll be looking them up on Universalis. This may seem a bit annoying and time consuming, but I could easily save a million gill taking 20 minutes server hopping to find the cheapest prices. Two million gil later. Okay, I'm now fully docked out in high quality crafted gear. I'm now going to check if I can successfully craft the items before I start paramelting my gear. In order to find out if I can or not, I need to head over to Teamcraft. To start a new craft, I need to click on New Rotation. Then I need to put in the name Rarefied Seek. There it is. Let's click the check mark. I'm planning to use high quality palm sugar, so add those. My food is high quality side to venue, check. Now I need to put my level. It's also asking for my craftsmanship, control, and CP. Transfer those over from the game. TeamCraft also allows you to save your character's info so you won't have to enter the info every time you come here but my main is safe, so I'm doing this anonymously. We need to find a rotation. If you notice, all three have a perfect success rate, but the middle rotation is about five steps less. That's a lot of time saves, so we'll use that one. Now I click on the 14 icon. This will bring up the macro we can copy paste into the game. To make a macro, click user macros, Pick a square. I'm just going to reuse my Sky Builder macros I used to level since I no longer needed those. Name it. Then paste the macro. You now have a macro to make rarefied Cycron. Now I do the same steps in order to get a macro for palm sugar. We now need to test the macros to make sure they work. I ate a side to Venu. Now you can actually test it if you, it will work instead of doing what I did and just jumping head first into an empty swimming pool. Luckily my macros were successful and I didn't waste my mats. I now want to show you how to paramount gear and in order to do this first we need to unlock it. 
you'll want to head to Central Dunnelin and head north from Blackbrush Station. Pick up the quest Marvelously Mutable Materia from Kokusamu and Waking the Spirit from Phobos. These unlock being able to normal meld your gear and turn lower mirror materia into higher value materia. More of that later on in another video. Turn both these quests in. You can now accept melding materia muchly from Mutamix Bubbly Putts. He wants to watch us meld 8 materia onto our gear. So I head over to Alda and I check the balance discord which lists the best gear for every job. They gave me a link to the crafter best materia. Looking at the list, I'll need command and competence level 10s. Looking at the market board, they are 10,000 each in stacks of 50. So back to Trustery Universalis I go. I see that the cheapest commands are 7497 on a Hyperion, but it's in stacks of 99 and 47, which is way more than I need and it'll take way too long to sell the remainder. Yet on Exodus for about 400 gil more, it looks like they have quite a few small stacks. So I head there. I buy about 10 commands and I find 5 competence for less than 5,000 gil each. I quickly buy these up as well. I'm now ready to show my skills to Mr. Bubbly Pups. He's in awe with my prowess of melting my gear that he teaches me how to lose all my gill. <clears throat> I mean, he teaches me how to pair him out. <sighs> I've been dreading reaching the point of needing to pair him on my gear. You can easily spend tens of million of gill before you complete the set. Paramelding allows you to place five material on certain pieces of gear. It's required to make the highest level items in the game. To parameld, you click on the item, choose meld, and the material you wish to try and meld onto your item. It will now show you your chance of succeeding. Click that and hope for the best. Luckily, I only lost two before melding the materia. I'll try again. <coughs> I lost four. Mm, that's actually pretty good here. Maybe my luck is finally with me. I might actually do this for a decent price. One more try. I just lost 600,000 gil. I hate Gamba. <laughs> Anyways, once you finish your farm, you'll want to head to Razahan in order to turn in your crafts to the collectible appraiser. Each turn in will reward you 144 purple scripts. You can then exchange your scripts with the script exchange in the next stall. I'm mainly focusing on dark eggplants, which tend to go for 500 to 1,000 gil each, depending on the server. Each turn in will net you over 9 eggplants, so on the low side, each turn in it will be about 4,500 gil profit. There are possible other items still worth getting on this list. I just have to do more research and I know that people are still using raid food. So after I completed all 100 turn ins, I ended up with 5 stacks of eggplants and I also bought 50 immutable solutions. But I should have looked at the prices, the solutions are going for a lot lower than they should for this price. So I don't recommend picking them up in the future. So this is the farm I like to do when I'm busy doing something else like editing a video. Or if I don't really feel like playing and just want to watch a movie instead, I'll put something on on my second monitor and the macro will notify me when I need to click a button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.